everyone. My name is Pepe, and I'm from NC State University. And I will present to you our study on regular special bugs. This is a famous quotation about using regular expressions, and it exactly expresses my my feeling of using it. If you have used a regular expression, you may agree with me that a regular expression is hard to read, hard to write, it's error prone, and difficult to test. Um, so there are already a lot of efforts in dealing regular expression problems. For example, researchers have been focused on drug expression comprehension issues, performance issues, security vulnerabilities, testing coverage, its reusability on other languages. And all these problems are separate. And we don't know how often those problems appear and which, which one is more important than the other. And most importantly, we don't know how to fix them. So we want to discover the nature of the issues that are all related to drug expression. And in particular, the nature of the issues that developers address. Um, this is why we have this paper and conducted the survey on regular expression bugs. So in this study, we have identified the regular expression root causes and manifestations. We also described the different approaches of fixing bugs. Based on this, we have created a taxonomy of regex-related bugs and fix. We choose GitHub pull requests as our study object because pull requests usually combine both the problem and the fix. From the GitHub, we select all the pull requests from Apache, Mozilla, Google, and Facebook repositories. And then we filter the pull requests by the keyword regex or regex fashion and search the keywords in the title and description of the pull request. Next, uh, we filled out the pull request based on the programming languages, and we are only interested in the top three most popular languages. Um, last next step, we filled out the pull requests by the merge status. Only merge pull requests are selected because merge ones not only shows developers' interest to solve the problem, but also provide accepting the patch to fix the problem. In the next step, we identify the regex related pull requests and make sure there's at least one change to the regex or regex API in the PR. With this process, we ended up with 350 pull requests. And in the first few steps, they're automatic, but the last step is manual. So how we identify the pull requests and make sure they are regex related pull requests. Here I will give you an example. We look at the PR title and the description to understand what happened. In this example, dot is a wildcard character in regex, which means it can match any single character. If you pass a literal dot to the replace all function, it will be treated as a wildcard in regex. As a result, all single characters are converted. Um, in addition to the PR title and description, we can also check the references to the zero bug report, where it can provide us with more information. And we also look at the code changes in the PR. In this example, the fix is pretty easy. Just add two backslashes before the dot, and it will tell the regex parser that here is a literal dot and not a wildcard. We use the two we use the two readers for open card sorting to identify the categories of root causes and manifestations. Um, so overall three root causes emerge. There are regex expression itself, regex API, and the other code. Each root cause is manifested in two or three different ways. Um, so for example, regex itself has uh, three manifestations, incorrect behavior, compile errors, design or code smiles. Notice that each group actually has a best smile as its manifestation. Each best smile can be either a code smile or a design smile. Smiles are not the uh, normal bugs. Instead, they indicate the weaknesses in the software that may impact the software quality or increase the risks of failures in the future. Um, the examples of best smiles such as is uh, duplicate code, long function, and unused variables. In the next few slides, I will give several examples to illustrate those categories. 
Here is the example we have just discussed. From the description, we can see the root cause is the radix self. Um, thus, the unwanted characters are converted by the radix. It falls under the category of incorrect behavior. Here is another example. The problem in this PR is the non-point exception. Non-point exception is caused by the non-variable passed into the regex API function. So the root cause is regex API manifestation is a smile. Since the problem is lies in how to write the code, it's a code smile. Specifically, it's a type of code smile of handling exceptions. Here is our third example. In this example, the issue is not in the regex, but the regex is part of the solution. So it is regex related. The issue here is that the user input in the lock messages is not sanitized. So the root cause is other code. Um, but the PR is trying to add a new feature uh, for input sanitization. The manifestation is new feature. Sometimes when PR contains more than one regex issue, this example actually has a second regex problem. When the complexity of a regex is not linear, it's vulnerable to redos attack. To solve this problem, a new different regex is used to make sure uh, it does not vulnerable to attacks. And so the root cause of this example is still regex itself, but manifestation is a smile. To be specific, it's a code smile related to regex performance. After we have analyzed the pull requests and built our taxonomy of root causes and manifestations, what have we learned from this study? The first thing is that we found that most of the issues are related to the reg itself. From this pie chart on this slide, we can see that 60% of the reg spikes are caused by reg themselves. Another 9% are caused by reg API and around 30% are caused by other code. If we zoom in, we can also see that the most common issue in reg itself is the incorrect regex behavior manifested in over 46% of the regex bugs. If we look at the incorrect behavior even closer, we can find that the most common issue across all the root causes and manifestations is rejecting valid strings. This is three times as common as accepting invalid strings, which means the regex tend to be restrictive. Well, that means if we want to do regex testing, we should probably focus more on the strings outside the regex scope because these strings are more likely to cause incorrect behavior. Not another finding is related to compile errors. While compile errors are not the most common issues, it's worth it to discuss because regex exists in a code base, even though they do not compile at all. Um, in this example, split, split, split function requires a regex stream, but the file.separator is actually platform dependent, and it will cause compile errors on Windows-based systems. Um, there are already a lot of build tools um, on, the, on the software development. These tools, however, are not successful in catching regular special compile errors because these errors happened during the runtime. The fact that uh, regex compile error can exist in a code base implies that regex are not tested. So definitely regex need to be tested and it would be better to test those regex earlier before they are introduced in the code base. So we have discussed about the, our findings. Our next, we will look at how developers fix those issues. In our paper, we present 10 common fix patterns, and I'm going to show you some of them. One of the fix pattern is to escape special characters. For example, the dot here is escaped so that it will be taken as a literal dot instead of a wildcard dot. 
Sometimes in erratic is not necessary. We can replace it with a simpler solution, such as the string operations. In this example, the regex matching is replaced by string contains functionality. In other times, regex can also be replaced by existing parsers. There are existing parsers to uh, pass certain type of strings, and those, such as the email address, URL, and HTML tags. A common fix for performance issues is to reduce the number of regex execution by adding a guard statement. In the context of this example, if most of the current line does not contain error, we don't need to do the regex matching because regex mapping has more overhead than string operations. Adding the if condition here can improve the performance. Now that we have categorized the regex issues and identified the common patterns, the work begins by utilizing the study to create analysis techniques and tools to prevent regex bugs from happening. There are a lot of work following this study. For example, we have observed that sometimes regex is replaced by string and other times strings are replaced by regex. So further study is needed to understand when a regex should be used and when it shouldn't be used. This study has also led to performance issues where the regex performance is not linear, it has the potential of redox attacks. But however, regex performance is more than regex complexity. We found that regex performance issues are often tied to the number of regex execution times rather than the regex complexity. So we have got the regex performance fixed patterns. How to apply them and how to measure their effectiveness is another research problem. Given that compile errors should not exist at all in the core base, the regex compile errors are comparatively common. How to automatically identify them before introducing them in the code base is another research problem to explore. There are a lot of observations and findings of our study. If you are interested, please check our paper. With this, I will end my talk. Thank you all for listening.